there to play. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's really helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. 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 After a string of tough mysteries, I've decided it's time to take a break to do a little sightseeing. I'm taking P.G. Krollmeister up on his offer to send me to his favorite Ryokan, or traditional inn, in Kyoto, Japan. I'll spend the days teaching English and my nights with Bess and George, exploring the sights, fashion, history, and nightlife of downtown Kyoto. From what I hear, the inn I'm staying at is known as one of the scariest places in the city. I'm not sure why people say that. I might have to poke around a little to see what's really going on at the Ryokan Hie. Hi, I have a reservation under Nancy Drew. <gasps> Do you believe me now? Obasan, it only fell. It did not. You know better. I'm very sorry. She, she's just a little upset. She does not want her here. Tell her to go. Now. What was that about? Why is she upset? Please, don't worry about that. Here, this is your room key. Thanks. Your room is on the second floor. I've already had your bag sent up. Please, my name's Miwako. Come to me if there's anything you need. Is that a robotic cat? Yeah, Suki! Isn't she the greatest? Lentalo got her for me. I've wanted my own pet cat for forever, but I can't have one at the Ryokan. I came into work one day, and there she was, right next to the sweetest note from Lentalo. I've never seen a robotic cat before. What does it do? She's not on it. She's Suki. It's okay, she didn't mean it. Actually, she doesn't really do much, mainly sits. But, oh wait, I just learned something neat. Suki, tate. Oh, that's great. That's all I remember right now, but she can do a lot more. I should figure out what the rest of the commands are, come to think of it. Although, to be honest, it's a little more believable if she just does what she wants. Your grandmother seemed very upset about the portrait breaking. It's no big deal. She thinks it's a bad sign that the portrait fell from the wall. Why is that? It's a very special portrait. It's one of the two remaining images of my mother and it was taken shortly before. It's one of my grandmother's favorite portraits. What is a Ryokan? A Ryokan is almost exactly like a hotel or spa, but far more traditional. 
This ryokan has been in my family for generations. Passed down from mother to oldest daughter in order to preserve the traditional style, the food, the caretaking. Every little detail is as it would have been generations ago. How long has the ryokan been in your family? A very long time. My grandmother says it has been passed down since the early 1700s. So one day you'll pass this place on to your daughter? That must be very nice. Well, I'm the younger daughter. My older sister Yumi will be the one to take over the ryokan. Oh. My grandmother is offering a few classes in traditional arts. She's in room 18 at the end of the hall. What happened to your mother? I shouldn't bother you with our problems, Nancy. Please, it is very nice outside, a perfect time to relax and enjoy your surroundings. Please stay away from there. It is very easy to get burned. Hello. Nancy, you made it. How was your ride? It was pretty good. I love Japan. I have done so much shopping, and George's convention is crazy. I've never seen so many people. It's totally sold out. You sound pretty excited. Well, yeah. Kind of hard not to be here. I don't even know where to start. Have you ever had mochi? It's a revelation, Nancy. I'm not even kidding. And the shopping. Conference me in already. Oh, yeah. Did that do it? No? Okay. No, hit the... No, the... You do it, then. We all on? Yes. Yep. Why is that so hard? It so isn't. Anyway, what's your story? What are you up to? You coming over? I'm still getting settled in, but I'll be out to see you guys soon. How's the... whatever it is you're staying at? Ryakon. It's great. A little strange, though. When I was checking in, a picture fell off the wall, and everyone was really weird about it. Huh. Oh, no. Our train's going to be here in a sec. Gotta go. See you, Nancy. Bye. I might be able to use this. All right, let's grade some homework. Thank you. 
Already stamped that one. Whoa, hang on. Man only right now. What do you mean? The baths. The blue banner means the baths are for men. The red banner means women only. I don't know why we don't mention this at the front desk. This is useful information. Anyway, I'm Rentaro. I'm out in the garden if you need anything. Whoa. Ow, that hurt. Hi again. I'm Rentaro. It's nice to meet you, officially. So, um, you're still here. That's surprising. I'm Nancy. What do you mean, surprising? Did I say that? Whoops. <laughs> so, you're American. From New York City? No, a place called River Heights. It's in... Oh, okay. That's one of the places I always wanted to go. I mean... You'd have to be crazy to live there, but on the other hand, you'd have to be crazy not to live there. It's one of those, um, uh, unwinnables. Do you work here? Technically. It's a complicated thing we've got going on. I'm sort of like the handyman around here. So, should I bother getting to know you, or are you going to be like all of the rest? What do all of the rest do? Get spooked in the middle of the night? Pack their bags and never come back? Even the ones who come to see the ghosts? <gasps> I shouldn't be telling you this. Oh well, already did. If you see Takaido, this conversation never happened. Ghosts? What ghosts? We got one of those, um, haunted hotspot guides. So we get a lot of ghost hunters here. And that's always a treat. Because they're totally not obnoxious. So, people think this place is haunted? Well, some people think this place is haunted. Kind of like some people think the moon landing was faked, and some people like adult contemporary. Don't be one of those people. You like puzzles? I guess you could say that. I figured. You're going to love this. It's called a nanogram. What's that? It's just another example of how awesome numbers are. Letters are cool and all, but they just make words. I mean, get with the game, letters. Numbers, on the other hand, get a few handfuls of those and you can make a bridge or send a person into space or express the makeup of our genetic code or... or they can make a neat picture. Okay. Take a look in here. All you need to do is look this over and finish the pattern. And when you're done, picture! Here, take this. Give it a shot. Bring it back when you're done, and I'll give you something better. Sure. And there are instructions inside in case you get stuck. Miwako seems to really like Suki. I know, which is great, because that girl is hard to buy for. And it's been sort of a gift-heavy year. Either she's getting crazy sensitive or I'm becoming a huge jerk. Hmm, hard to say. It's definitely one or both of those things. What are you building there? Oh, this. 
This is the Rentaro 4000! I saw that got inspired by Suki. What's it going to be? A robotic dog! Or maybe just a robotic dog's leg. I'll be honest, I had no idea how wrong these things take to build. But then again, a dog's leg is not a good gift without the rest of the dog. So the borders on creepy come to think of it. Is it going to be a gift for Miwako? Oh, definitely. She's my robotic muse. But she's not robotic. Not that you'd think she is. <sighs> and this is why I work with machines. They're totally oblivious to awkwardness. I'll talk to you later. See you later. I did it! Hello? I finished the nanograms puzzle. Awesome! Nice job! What do you think? Eh. I've got something better. You know it, you love it! The original! Sudoku! Oh, I've played that before. Great! Great! I've got some good ones for you here. Here you go. Bring it back if you want more. I'll let you get back to work. See you later. I did it! Hi! I finished up the Sudoku. Way to go! So, what do you think? I loved it. I've got one last type of puzzle to show you. 
This is one of my favorites, Renograms. It's all about creating an unbroken string of numbers. Tell me what you think when you're done. Here you go. I'll stop bugging you now. Bye. I did it! Hey! I finished up the Renegrams puzzle. Great! I knew you would! Don't tell the other puzzles, but this is my favorite. I finished another Renegrams puzzle. Here you go! I'll talk to you later. Catch you around. Check. Did that. That's done. That's done. Did that. Did that. Check. Check. Better call it a night. <laughs> <laughs>